How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Whiskier. Today, we are at Coltrane Fine Wine and Spirits. That's where we're going to be doing a bourbon hunt today, um, but we got a special guest. We got Josh Hopkins, the legendary up, OG man? Patreon member. He's been in there since day one, and Jaron. As always. As always. Yeah. He records for us. He's a best friend of mine. So The boys are here, baby. Get we're right. back. Let's go get this bourbon hunt on, and we will see you at the store. Cheers. All right, y'all, so we're here at the liquor store, but before we even browse the shelves, we have samples of all their picks in their little tasting room. Um, pretty excited about all these. Let's get to it, I'm, I'm excited. So first we have the Hirsch, which Josh here tells us, we believe this might be something that rhymes with Swill it. Yeah. The mash bill they have on this for the uh, single barrel double oak is uh, 72, 13, 15, right? And for, uh, for all you Purple Top fans out there, that should sound very familiar uh, to a, a Willet bourbon mash bill. Uh, and it's a 90% eight year, seven month, 10% four year. So it's really nice. Tastes like sweet corn. Wow, yeah, that's it's nice. Very sweet. What's the proof on that? Comes in 127.3. Doesn't no, doesn't drink that hot. It's nice. It drinks way below that. Is there an age on this? Yeah, so 90% is eight years, seven months. 10% is three years, seven months. Oh, wow. Okay. I kind of like that. Yeah. Because I, I personally enjoy sometimes a whiskey that you can taste the grain. Like a little bit. Because you, you know what you're drinking, right? What it's made out of, but then you also get some oak on this. It's nice. Bunch of bourbon nerds enjoying it. It's good stuff. And this is their pick. We have a bunch of picks to go through, but this is this store's barrel pick. And what I was telling them, I'm so grateful that they have um, bottle samples for us because when we browse shelves, a lot of you, A, have tasted a lot of the products that are on shelves, so you know what you like, and that's why we talk about them. But B, I've tasted a lot, so I can give recommendations. Store picks are so important to stores, though, and super important, I think, that people actually try that because what this is is the store owners, managers, workers, everybody kind of has a hand in picking these barrels. So it's a special thing to them. Um, they have plenty of bottles of barrel picks because they're buying an entire barrel of whiskey. So for me to be able to taste it and then recommend these things is just huge. So we're gonna have some fun. All right, so we're, we're going next to the Branch and Barrel, another, or actually not another, the first Colorado spirit that we tried today. Um, we kind of all just smelled a little bit. It smells like a gummy bear. That's what I get off of it, like a candy, a sugary candy. It's really nice. Complex for, I don't, I'm not positive how old this is, but again, this is a, a Coltrane store pick again. That's sweet. That's sweet, that's super smooth too. I like that. I like the finish. The wow. finish that's coming through on this now is freaking sweet. Holy crap. 46% too. Yeah, that finishes. I did not expect that. Me neither. That's... And the cool thing is, distilled, aged, everything made, here in Colorado, like an hour and 20 minutes away, if that. Super yes. cool, this is a good one. All right, now we're going to another Colorado distillery, Wood Creek Distillers. This is, yet again, another store pick. Um, rye whiskey, I've been really loving rye. I don't have a 50-50 cabinet yet, not 50% bourbon, 50% rye, but um, I have been buying a lot of good rye bottles. I think when you find a good bourbon, you can find multiple good bourbons. It doesn't matter, you know what I mean, good distilleries, but a really good rye, I think, competes, if not beats, a lot of good bourbons. Like, that is just a fact. Absolutely. When a rye is good, it is good. Um, and this one smells good. It, well, we were just saying, it kind of smells like cedar, pine, almost like if you, I, I made the judge, if you ever been to Lowe's and you pass down that wood section, that's what it smells like, dude. Yeah. It's nice, sweet, definitely rye. Like. If you gave that to me in a blind, there's no way you you definitely know it's a rye. You immediately get that spearmint hit. Immediately get yep. the spearmint hit. The minty, the mid palate. You got the wood. The wood is carrying over from the nose. That spearmint hit is there. Mm -hmm. It's there. Like that double mint, double mint bubble gum spearmint hit is there. Yeah, this and is, I this is good. I like. I really like the finish on this. Actually, honestly, it might be my favorite of the three we tried so far, just because it's hitting right right now. You know, like I said, a good rye. Can't go wrong with it. This is What's awesome. The proof on this? Uh, it it oh, doesn't taste too high. 100 proof? Solid. I'll buy all day long of that thing. Now we got the Oak and Eden, which y'all know notoriously I'm not a big fan of. I think the spires kind of throw things off sometimes, but 
It's a cool company. You can craft your own whiskey. Um, for a store to pick it though, must be pretty cool. Must be pretty good. Now, we didn't know this until just now. This is a wheated whiskey. However, it has an umber on a spire. So for those of you like Penelope Rio, uh, what's it, RD1 makes an Ambarana. Barrel. Barrel makes an Ambarana, and Nulu makes an Ambarana. Those are the ones I can think of on top of my head. For those of you that like those, which they're all freaking solid, might like this. I mean, I smell it. I haven't, I haven't even put it up to my nose yep. in, a, in a little, it smells. Like that cinnamon toast crunch. It smells awesome. If they make candles that smell like this, you could just keep them in your kitchen all year long. It's, it smells great. That's different. That's not typical Ambarana. So, oh, now it is though. The initial, the initial was like a, that was spicy. Yeah, that was. It was whiskey. Yeah, that you was know? spicy. And then the Amarana came in with the, with the, the cinnamon toast crunch. You know why I, I kind of like that, and I kind of compared to the RD one Amarana. The reason being is, normally the Amaranas that I've drinking. Drinking, drunk, I don't know, who cares? They are just straight up cinnamon toast crunch the whole time, which I don't mind, but I don't want it every single day that I want to have a whiskey, you know what I mean? It's not something you go back and back and back to, um, just because it's it's very strong. The cinnamon and the, the vanilla sweetness, it's very strong. It's almost like a flavored whiskey. So the cool thing about this and RD1's on Barana, it you actually taste the whiskey first. Yeah. Like you know you're drinking a bourbon or a weeded whiskey, and then on the finish you get it. Oh yeah, that, that was definitely that, that little spice up yeah. that you get, you know, on, on, on weeded whiskey. That little little bite on your tongue is there first. And then the Amarana came through. Uh, me personally, I I like Amarana finishes. Me too. Uh, wow. I'm with you though, I, I, I can't do it every day, so it's more of a dessert pour, you know? That uh, finish is very nice. It is, it is. Um, yeah, I got the I got that weeded whiskey right up front, and then on the finish, like that, that honey yeah. gram. Yeah, yeah, just like a downhill, like downhill graham cracker. Cereal. When gram you say cracker. gram, that that's yeah, yeah hundred percent. That was fire. So now that we just got done getting our samples of all these wonderful picks behind me, let's go ahead talk about them, kind of recommend, and show you price tags. Then we're gonna move on to the show. Start off, what we tried first was this Hirsch. Pretty fantastic, man. I mean, the highest proof out of all of them at one hundred twenty-seven proof, ninety-four to ninety-nine. A super solid bottle, great pick. Wood Creek Distiller is personally my favorite out of the ones we tasted, just me. But this was just fantastic. I really like that pine cedar note that comes off of it. It was so good. The finish was super sweet. And again, you're kind of supporting local Colorado brand. And this one comes in $56.99. That's such a great, we didn't know price tags on any of these before we started tasting. Um, so $56.99 for that is fantastic. And the one that kind of threw us all for a loop was the Ambarana, okay. right? Okanenan, you surprised me today. Okay, this again, you get your wood spire inside of it, but this is a wheat whiskey with an Ambarana spire, $54.99, that's a buy. If you've never had an Ambarana and you've been chasing those big brands, like we always talk, Penelope, RD1, all the big brands that we're talking about that you can't find, look for Oaken Eden with an Ambarana or go on their website, you can maybe make your own. All right, so then right to it, you have a Widow Jane Applewood, which I think is a fantastic ride personally, $48.99, Next to the Widow Jane 10 year, $74.99. Of course, you have a pretty decent uh, whistle pig selection for those of you that like whistle pig. And now moving on, Bardstown. A lot of it, a lot that we recommend too. This black label is fantastic. The Bardstown Bottled and Bond, $49.99. Your Bardstown Origin Series Rye, one of my favorite ryes, $69.99. Now this, Josh says to stay away from, but I know this is kind of a collector's bottle, uh, they collabed with Goose Island. I really enjoy the Goose Island beers um, that are finished in bourbon barrels. They have it here, 160, and then right next to it is the West Virginia Great Barrel Company. Haven't heard of that one, but they have a lot. And then, can we talk to Barrel, okay? I guess this is the bottle that I'm supposed to get, batch 35. Um, I'll leave it here for one of you, but if you don't come get it within a week, I'll be back to get it but they do have the Barrel Bourbon, Batch 35. They have Dovetail, Vantage, Rye, Seagrass, and they also have a Single Barrel Rye, which is pretty cool. To see a Barrel, Single Barrel, um, under $100 as well. Yeah. It's normally 100, right now they have it on sale for 85. It's pretty cool to see, you don't see that that often, okay? They have Peerless Double Oak here. Um, 
$89.99, a fantastic price. I love a lot of the Peerless products, but in particular, a bottle that I drink a lot of is Peerless Double Oak, especially when you can find it for a good price. And then right under it, I'm gonna leave all these here for you because I'm not a crazy big fan of this next bottle, but I know some of you are, and I know some of you have been looking for Knob Creek 12. It's here, they have a good bit of it, coming in at $69.99. Now look, I'm not saying Knob Creek is bad, okay? I understand the market behind Knob Creek. I understand why a lot of people like it. For me, it's just a little bit too bitter, a little bit too oaky. I love good a good oak on a bourbon, but Knob Creek 12 just doesn't really do it for me. Moving on, they do have a good bit more of the Oak and Eden. They have the Amberano, of course, their pick. This one is a Cabernet, Cabernet Steep Oak, and this is a Toasted Oak Spire. I saw this in one of the most recent videos that we've done, the Representative and the Senator, both barrel proof. Um, I heard it's MGP, but the price tag is kind of what interests me. $48.99 for a four year barrel proof whiskey. And then right next to it, 75 for a six year. That's a pretty big price jump when it's only a two year difference. Um, but for those of you that have had the representative or had the Senator, which one did you prefer? Which one did you prefer? Oh, so I prefer the Senator because it's a ride. Okay. It's a ride. I, I like the MGP, MGP makes no, no mistakes with their ride. So. I agree. Yeah, a six year 95.5, can't be good, man. can't be good. And nobody make fun of me in the comments. Josh is very tall. Okay, I'm not short. He's tall. Okay. First of all, Sagamore 8. I think this is the only Sagamore product on the shelf, but this is also my favorite on the shelf when it comes to Sagamore. Sagamore 8 year at $80. I want to say, I know it's pretty cool. I get to recommend a lot of things to y'all, but y'all also in return recommend a lot of things to me. When I ask you about these whiskeys on the shelves that I haven't tried, I really truly do want your opinion. Somebody told me to try the Sagamore 8 year. I freaking love it. It's a fantastic rye. And then right under it, um, you know, I think this bottle got its hype this year and good for them, okay? It's a smaller distillery. They've been around for a very long time, but they're kind of boosting their uh, products back up. Ben Holiday, they also have the Rickhouse Proof, the Bottled and Bond. I'm just not crazy over this. It kind of reminds me of the Knob Creek nuttiness that, and, and that kind of bitterness that I don't like. But again, I see why a lot of people like it. They have them here at, a, again, great prices, kind of all around the board. Moving on, we're gonna talk about some more whiskey. Here we go. <laughs> Literally. Delbach, is that it? Delbach? This comes out of Arizona, from what I'm told, the worst state in America. I'm just kidding, guys, just kidding. Jaron's from Arizona, I just kind of have to throw a little jab, but he said that this one in particular is pretty good. This one, the single malt? No, the, it was the O to Islay won quite a few awards this year. But uh, Islay, isn't that kind of scotchy? That's scotchy, yeah. Okay. It is, it is. I might not like it if there's peat in it, but for those of you scotch drinkers, you might. And we might show you some scotch in this video. You might get lucky, who knows? But anyway, pretty small distillery, not really talked about. Never seen it in a store, so it's kind of cool that they have this here. And then Jaron, if you could come up just a little bit over here. Buzzard's Roost. They got a lot of them at some pretty decent price points as well. And I heard that the Cigar Rye, both from Nate and Josh. Fire. It's that good? It is fire. 75 bucks good? Yes. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I mean, and then boom, look at this. $89.99 for Uncle Nearest Single Barrel, guys. These are phenomenal. I bought a bottle in one of the videos. Jaren and I did a tasting of this Uncle Nearest Single Barrel. These are not easy to come across either, by the way. You can look at a lot of stores, You'll see Uncle Nearest, but you won't see this in particular single barrel. So $89.99, it's a buy for me personally. Um, I think it's really, really good. Probably the best bottle in the store, <clears throat> High West Campfire, dude. I need to know in this video, how many of you actually like High West Campfire? Like, I wanna get a count. Say yay, nay, I love it, I hate it, because uh, I can't stand High West Campfire. And, but what's crazy is I love a lot of the High West products. Like almost all of their whiskey and rye, I really enjoy, but that campfire, they just, it ain't good. Recently, the other day, I got to try this Courage and Conviction single malt. They come in some beautiful tins. Um, it's, I think American single malt is kind of on the come up right now. And I've had some that I really like and some that I don't. Um, these were ones that I actually really enjoyed. This one's finished in a bourbon cast, sherry cast, cuvee. I, I've only tried these right here, the three, and they're pretty solid, but I think, when we're talking American single malt, I think the kings of the industry, and uh, yes, they're in Colorado, is gonna be Stranahan. Stranahan's is fire, guys. 
Uh, they make it up north Colorado. I've had a bunch of their bottles and I recently just got a single barrel barrel screen of this one here and it is fantastic. And then of course you have your smoke wagon lineup. We always talk about those. Um, they have the uncut unfiltered. Uncut the Younger is also super solid for the price point. It's a good barrel strength whiskey to get into. Have those. Now recently I did a tasting of the Family Jones. This is a distillery up north, I think in the Denver area, if not in Denver themselves. Beautiful labels, I think they're so cool, but I tried everything that they have to offer and they are really good whiskey. It's a place that you should visit. Um, they have a tasting room as well. Just a super good product overall and great price. I mean, look, the most expensive thing they sell, 75, but then it goes all the way down to the $30 price range. So just a really cool distillery to check out for sure. And this in general is just the Colorado section. If you kind of want to just show them what the, the, the section looks like, I know I can't talk on a lot of them because I haven't tasted a good bit. We just tried Wood Creek. I definitely want to try more from their distillery because that rye was on point. But coming up, the 291 lineup that they have here is pretty impressive all pretty solid prices too. Pretty much what they sell it for at the distillery. Um, I know a lot of you, you either love them, you either hate them. I personally love a lot of the things that 291 puts out. They're solid, man. It's just a good whiskey. And in particular, I really love their rye. Like, I love that stuff. Look at this bottle, how cool. They have a still that's glass blown in the bottle. Now this comes from private label distillery. We filmed the video there. Check that one out too. That is a distillery tour. Such a beautiful place, beautiful bottles, and great whiskey in general. It's a, a little, little on the higher end. You're gonna pay $100 for this, but this is 67.9 proof. You know, you're paying for the proof. Definitely higher proof. It's MGP, but they do it in 30 gallon casks, which some people might be thrown off. I think what they do in those 30 gallon casks are excellent. Josh, Yo. you recently went to the distillery the other day. Yeah, so they have a, they have a few, a few of their products are, are pretty crazy. Uh, the barrel select. You yeah, drive. crazy. Uh, the barrel select, which is a hazmat. It's a uh, 141 proof. Yeah. Uh, like you said, they're, they're a little on the, on the high end side. I think the barrel select was what, 150. 150. But it drinks nowhere near 141. Proof. Yeah. The stuff they're doing in those small barrels is ridiculous. It's a great, it it's a great, great, great whiskey, great distillery and great people too. Absolutely. All right. Now we're going to go into their more select cabinet but before we hit that we have another spirit that a lot of you need to know about i need to tell you guys about a spirit i was introduced to this year but blue me jaron everybody that i've let tried oh wait blew them away okay and that's armagnac armagnac guys is so cool for the price point that it is and the quality okay here's what's cool about it cognac 98 percent of cognac is all exported out of france Armagnac, 98% of it stays in. That's why you don't see it that often, but when you see it, it's a buy, okay? Because let me tell you, 15 years. Now there's an Armagnac aged 15 years for $57.99. And the one right next to it to the left, 10 years for $51.99. Armagnac is sweet. It's a fermented fruit that it's made from, uh, different than whiskey and bourbon where it's grain. This stuff is fantastic. Now Bakta is another brand that makes, this is a brandy. Um, they don't have any of the Armagnac products but Bakta makes some fantastic Armagnac products. And then we were just told, I haven't tried this one. This is a $68.99, this is a 12 year. And one of the managers at the store said that this is one of his, if not, this is his favorite brand. And this bottle's fantastic. Again, $68.99 for 12 year olds. We're in their temperature controlled room, mostly wine, but this is kind of where they keep some of their special products. The Whistle Pig 18. Now, if you got some money, if you got $400 to spend, they have it here. If you've been looking for a Whistle Pig 18, I've never seen one before, um, I know it's not the easiest to come across, but that's pretty cool. Whistle pick 15, 12, never heard of the farm stock rye. Uh, they have a blue spot, which is a great Irish whiskey from what I've been told. Now this is one that I haven't tasted yet. I need to, 150, but people say that is fantastic cash strength. Spring bank. I know that this is like, I've heard this is like the pappy of scotch, but they have a spring bank 10 year for 249 and widow Jane decadence. That's the cheapest I've seen it at 94.99. Widow Jane Decadence is fantastic. They have some of the great four square rums, um, like the really nice four square rums, which I've had whiskey finished in four square rum and the whiskey is just fantastic. They have Remus Repeal. This is batch seven. Um, I've heard mixed things about that one. Um, Josh here says it's not the best. Yeah, it's, it's not batch five, it's, you know, but it's- Yeah, I've had batch five and six and those are great, but $114, they have some old Ezra's which are always solid. Your Jack Sinatra. Um, Heaven Hill bottled and bond. So I was told just kind of keep checking in this 
temperature controlled room. Every now and then they put some goodies out. Um, but now let's show you the bottle that I'm going home with today. And real quick, before we do that, we got a new game to play. We're gonna be playing these on live streams now. It's basically uh, roulette with whiskey. So it's gonna be fun. I'm excited for that. Let's go show you the bottle. A 25 year Armagnac for $89.99. Again, the, the year that you can get an age statement on an Armagnac for the price just cannot be beat. I'm super excited to come home with this one. I think we are all, can we say? Absolutely. absolutely. All impressed by that store. Um, I mean, you saw the selection they have. You saw the great bottles that they have. Armagnac, not even bourbon, not even whiskey. A 25 year old spirit that you can get. I paid $94 after taxes. I think that is so incredible because let's talk. I mean, when we're talking bourbon and whiskey, some of those 20 plus years, you're paying well over a hundred. Actually, you're probably paying well over $200 for something that expensive. We saw a Whistle Pig 18 that was $3.99. $3 you know what I'm saying? So like, I really think Armagnac is so good. I wish that there was more of it here in the States. Unfortunately, there's not. And that's the first store that I've seen an Armagnac besides Bacta. Um, there's a couple of stores that have Bacta, but I had to go away with it because I just don't see it. And it is delicious. Fantastic. Siren kind of ranting about Armagnac, but uh, it's that good. You need to check it out. I'm serious. And I don't think you'll be disappointed if you're a bourbon, whiskey, or even a tequila fan. I think you'd really enjoy a good Armagnac. We finished at the store. It was a fantastic store. I just want to thank every single person for being here. And uh, don't forget to enter the uh, little giveaway we got going on for the Westward Milestone. That can be yours. All you have to do is go comment on that video. And thank you so much for watching Whiskey. As always, thank you for supporting, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank you.